Hello, I'm going to do a quick recording about a, a little problem I'm having uh, making a table. Um, uh, for some reason, uh, making a table that I've seen um, little introductions and descriptions about how to do them best were shown to me on YouTube, but when I tried to do them the way they say to do them on YouTube, they are not working that well with me when I try to use them, and I'm wondering why that is occurring. Uh, multiple YouTube videos are doing that, but I'm going to give you an example of one of them that's pretty as simplistic as possible. So first, let's go to the YouTube video, and I'm going to try to turn it up as loud as possible so, so um, you can hear the YouTube descriptions. And that's on another video screen, so here it is. And listen to the, um, I'm going to just play as much as you need to hear. Uh, for the guy to describe it as simply as possible, okay? Here it goes. And I'll actually show you, you know, later in videos how to make a template out of this tool. We're going to be using tables today. So if we go to insert table or control alt T, we run up with the table window. Now, first I'll show, um, I want to, for some reason, when I go to tables, um, my table box is not popping up. And I'll show you when I go to make my table. Uh, that my table box is not popping up and I don't know if it's my settings or something but uh, I'll show you when I go to make my table how my table box does not pop up um, all that happens is the script shows up in the box uh, for some reason and, and it I don't get the options of the table size and whatnot but we'll get to that in a second all right back to him well, let me show you what you can do your rows will be basically the rows you know how many rows you have. As you see, we have, you know, one, two, three, four. That'll be basically how many rows you have. The columns are how many boxes you have inside the row. So you can have, you know, three, four, five. So if you had two rows, you'd have five columns in each row. Or if you had one row, you'd have two columns in each row. You know, it, it works like that. Um, you can change the table width, uh, the border thickness, uh, cell padding, cell spacing, and you also have four header options. You can have a none, you have left, this works with you know tabs and stuff. Same with top. Fast forward a little um, bit. and both. But I'm gonna just you can you know make this to any size you want. Okay, this is what I want to point out the most is uh, notice how he's able to uh, change um, all the settings on the size of the table. Um, and this is what I want to do with my table. And he's able to do this and I'm not able to and I'll show you that when we get back to my settings. Um, but watch how he's able to change everything. And you can actually move the thing inside the same way. And as you see, we can go to both editing boxes right here. Now, if we click on the right-hand side, we can go down to the properties of this this table and change anything that we had in the original table editing box. So if we wanted this to be 1, we can change it to 1. I, I can do if that If we wanted as well. this to be 320. Oh, I'm okay with that. 350? change it to 350. You can also, I think the most important tool to use is the border. I really like this. Okay, that, that's not too big of a deal. What means the most to me is um, is how he's able to adjust and align all the borders and on where in the table he's able to align everything. That's what means the most to me. And we're going to be brought up with a table. So and you can, you know, make this to any size you want. Yeah, that's what I want to do the you most. You can actually so, move and, the and we're gonna thing get, inside. We're going to go back to mine, and, and I'll show you. As you yeah, that's what means the most to me, and I can't do that. I'll show you that. Okay, let's go back to my Dreamweaver, and um, we're going to make a table here. And uh, we'll start off, and I'm going to show you right now. Uh, you can see on the video, I'm going to click Table, and I am unable to, um, right here, I'm just going to click Table, and it will not give me that pop-up where it's going to allow me to give uh, a lot of settings on the size of the table that I want. Oh yeah, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I click table and there it, it just comes up with a uh, one row table. So and here's that one row table which um, obviously it's not in there yet. I have to like refresh and everything before it finally uh, shows up and it, it takes a while for my computer to do that but here's all it gives me it doesn't give me that chance here here it is down here one row 
with 800 pixel so here's all I get with just plopping this in here 200 pixels table width and here's the settings and that's it so um, if I give it time let me see if I uh, I'll save it uh, let me put it and it should be there let me give it a second and if I go to um, let me go to the website actually let me redo this there it is okay so it gives it to me okay um, and that's fine but I mean if we give it time I'm not gonna wait for it but um, it'll come up here and that's another thing it just bothers me a little bit but I gotta you know keep on rejuicing it or refreshing it before it'll finally show up there it is finally um, but we, we, I won't, let's let's skip this time. Let's skip this for now, and let's put the table that I kind of wanted in it, the the size that I wanted. So I'm just going to delete this, okay, on table 71, and I'm going to put the size table that I wanted in it. I already have that made for you. This is the size table that I wanted. It's a um, it's a three by two. So this is the table that I wanted. Paste that in. That's the size table I wanted. Let's refresh it. Okay. 900, correct border and everything. Okay. That's the size table I wanted. File, save, site, put. Um, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time before it shows up in here. The table uh, should already be here. There. Now we have the table size that I want to. It's not in the center yet. I don't really care. Um, I don't care that it's not in the center. Let's refresh this here. Here we're refreshing it. Okay, there we go. All right. Here it is. Here's the table we wanted. Okay. Uh, we saw this in the video. You seen right there? I mean, you have left this works with you know. Okay, and we're gonna be brought up with a table. See how he's able to move and you can, it. You can know, make this to any size you want. Make it any size you want, but here I put my table in. How do I move this and make adjustments on it? You know, um, I I don't know why I'm not allowed to make adjustments to this. And uh, I followed the same things that he did, you know, insert table, but uh, I don't know what I'm, what I can do to make a movements and adjustments on the table to uh, change the size of them and stuff like that. Um, so if, if you can tell me what I can possibly do or what steps I need to take uh, to where I can make adjustments on the table because I followed kind of the same directions that he did uh, in the video where I can make adjustments to them basically go into the table insert table and then make it the size you want and I don't know why I'm not getting that pop-up where it's making me where where rather than just popping up with the script you know rather than popping up on the on the table I, I mean sorry on on the script here I want it to pop up to where I can instantly give it those numbers on the size table that I want. Uh, what what steps do I need to take? Because uh, I can in, insert it either way, either either here or here. But either you know either way I do it, what it's doing is it's just coming right up onto here rather than allowing me to put the numbers in. So what am I doing wrong? that's not allowing me to put the numbers in instead it's just coming right up onto here onto my script so that's what I would like to do I'd, I'd like to be able to make um, may, I'm, I'm willing I want to be able to put the numbers in so I can have you know the the setting of the table that I want rather than it just coming right up on here and then having to make the numbers differences and the changes onto here so if you can maybe give me the instructions on how to do that, 
or what settings do I have to change up here to make it the way I, I'd like the way this guy has it here because uh, I, I don't he doesn't really explain how to do it and and there was multiple videos I watched where the where the people were able to make they were able to get this here where they can make adjustments on their tables and none of the videos that I watched told us how to be able to get the settings to where they can make adjustments on the table but everyone was able to make adjustments on the table but I have not been told a single time on how to make adjustments on the table so if possible and able to find out that I'd love to hear that um, thank you very much if you can tell me thanks